This is the Ram 1500 Longhorn, complete with 5.7 liter Hemi V8 and the new e-torque hybrid or light hybrid system. And as it turns out, when you pop the hood, the main sort of hardware heart of that e-torque system is right here up on top where it's easy to see. And so if you're unfamiliar with what it is or what it does, I figured I'd make this little video to show you what's up and hopefully help visualize how this all works, starting with the motor generator unit bolted to the front of the engine, which sort of looks like an alternator on steroids. So what's going on? Well, you can see it's attached to the engine's crankshaft by a belt, and not too surprisingly, it serves as the truck's alternator and works the same way as an alternator. The belt drives the pulley, electricity is created inside, and that gets sent to where it needs to go. But there are a few differences. First, this alternator function only happens when you're not working the engine, which is to say when you're not touching the throttle pedal. For instance, as you coast down a hill or slowly brake to a stop for a red light up the road. In simple terms, it only generates electricity when there's no throttle input. So in practice, when you're not touching the gas pedal, the unit kicks in and the spinning action of the engine spins the belt that makes the juice. Release the throttle or brake lightly and the unit kicks in, spinning because your wheels are spinning and therefore so is the engine, and this is regenerative braking. Basically, you're creating electricity by slowing down. And this unit makes a lot more electricity than a regular alternator. Some of that recharges the conventional battery that starts the engine and runs the lights and stereo, and the rest gets stored away in this suitcase sized battery that's built into the rear firewall between the cabin and the bed. So, so far, you've got a really big alternator that kicks in whenever you're in motion but not on the throttle, and it recharges the regular battery and the suitcase battery in the back. And if you're wondering, that suitcase battery can be used to recharge the conventional battery even if the motor generator unit isn't currently generating electricity. And then, when needed, the juice in that suitcase battery can be sent back to the motor generator unit when you press the throttle. Remember, if you're pressing the throttle, power is not being generated, but it is being applied. Now, the motor generator unit is working as a motor and applying up to an additional 130 pounds of electric torque right to the engine's crankshaft immediately. So that suitcase battery is designed to be in a constant state of tug of war, recharging at virtually all moments when you're not touching the gas pedal and sending that power back to the crankshaft to boost the engine whenever you are. You might think of it sort of like an electric turbocharger that's driven not by exhaust gases, but rather by the very action of you slowing your vehicle down, or put another way, boosting performance using a waste byproduct, in this case, momentum. And importantly, there's nothing for the driver to see or do. This system just works away invisibly in the background. And now you know. Thanks for watching.